my reaction was, I don't have a car. Right. Why am I getting these tickets? Eight months ago, Sandy and Bob Durrell received in the mail a notice of two parking violations. One for parking at an expired muni meter on West 116th Street in Manhattan. The other, a $65 violation because the license plate on the car did not match the plate number on the registration sticker. The Durrells knew they were not guilty of these violations. They say not only had they never parked here, but they sold their car four years ago and turned in the plates. So they sent the Department of Finance the bill of sale for their car from 2013 and a receipt for the license plates Sandy brought to this DMV office. It says plates destroyed. Sandy wrote, these tickets must be a mistake. The decision they got in the mail said they were not guilty of the expired muni meter, but guilty of the license plate charge. That makes no sense. I didn't know, you know, whether to laugh or whether to cry. So Sandy sent in her documentation again, but the Department of Finance sent a notice of impending default, tacking on a $30 penalty. A month later came a judgment enforcement notice. The $65 ticket now up to $125 and a threat to refer to a collection agency. What a shame. I called you. Right. <laughs> I needed help. We went to the DMV office in Midtown Manhattan where I spoke with a manager off camera. What happens when people turn their license plates in? Well, they're destroyed. They're supposed to be sent to a recycler, but motor vehicle officials admit that occasionally some surrendered plates do turn up on other vehicles. Who had the plates? Where did they wind up? We may never know, but as for that undeserved ticket, we contacted the Department of Finance on the Durrell's behalf and were told, have them send their paperwork in again. Well, it took a while, but finally, there's good news. The appeals board decision arrived last week. It says summons is dismissed. The Durrell's eight month battle to prove their innocence is over. You were such a great help, Arnold. Well, we were happy to help finally end it. If you've got a story for me, send an email to whatashame at pix11.com or contact me on Facebook or Twitter. I'm Arnold Diaz, Pix11 News.